835 the time now. You buy fire alarms and you do the drills with your kids to keep them safe if your home ever caught on fire. But there's one more precaution you should take. Rusty Wise from Mr. Sparky here to talk about the safety of your electrical system. Good morning to you, Rusty. Morning. Well, let's kind of start with the idea because I think a lot of people, until something goes bad, they don't think about it. But how often should we be checking our electrical system? I say once a year. Okay. Uh, most people do not call electrician. We're in the home about every seven to ten years, so we're the last trade in the home. So I'm saying it once a year, and if, if you don't do that, you could really find some problems. People wait and call us when they're in the dark, something's smoking, or they have a real problem. So what are some of the common things you find when you go into homes? Well, I brought a few things here, but one of the common things we have is like this receptacle. It's a burnt receptacle. Mm -hmm. uh, space heaters are plugged in. Uh, wires are stabbed in the back. That causes a real issue. I also brought, you know, this bus bar. This is a burnt bus bar that we find a lot. You would think, no, that's not a common problem, but it is a common problem. Now, is that because of simply age? Is that possibly poor craftsmanship on whoever did the work? Well, this bus bar here was about two years Years old. Okay. Wow. So it's craftsmanship. When we go in, we, we check every panel. We do a safety inspection on your home. We check the panel. We make sure everything's good and tight. A new home should be checked, even though a new home is no guarantee that it's safe. And you're able to use some newer technology here. This looks like something out of Ghostbusters. What, what does this do? Well, it does catch ghosts, but it also catches <laughs> electrical problems. But it, it's a fluke meter. Uh, you know, you, you, you can shoot it towards electrical panel. And a lot of times you can't feel or see heat. So this picks up the heat signature of the panel. And if you have a weak junction like that, it will show up. Are there other things like if, say, my light bulbs seem to be going out a little sooner than they should, or maybe if my GFI switches are going off, are those some, some of those kinds of signs that we should be looking for? Correct. If you're going through a lot of light bulbs, the lights are blinking, dimming, you definitely need that checked. Or if you're feeling heat somewhere that you shouldn't be well, as Well, just, just like this bus bar, that is a heat loss. You're paying power to heat that up. So a weak junction is a heat spot, and so you're paying energy for that. So, you know, if your power bill is kind of creeping up, you know, let us come in and check it. So how do we get it set up with uh, Mr. Sparky Checkup? You, you can call us at 888-823-3060. You can go to our website, uh, mrsparkycharlotte.com. Uh, Google us. Uh, we're on the web. We're everywhere. You, you can find us. And we have technicians all in Charlotte Market. They dispatch from home. You may have one in your neighborhood. All right, very good. Rusty, appreciate Thank the you. time here this morning. Appreciate Thanks for it. teaching us and for bringing cool toys that I'm going to play with in just a second here because Wilson is hanging out at the Sleepy Poet over on South Boulevard.